the Evercade Retro Handheld. I've really been enjoying this thing. I think it's a cool little device. Had it since it released, actually before it released. Have all the cartridges up through, what is it, 14? Yeah, and I think uh, number 14 and 13, those are the latest released ones. Tari Lynx Collection 1 and 2. Those are a couple of my favorite cartridges. And then also uh, Zeno Crisis Tango with the dual game cartridge. These are my three favorites. But yeah, they got 14 of them out right now. Tons of games that you could play on this handheld. It can also be plugged into your TV. I don't prefer playing it that way. Kind of had a little rocky start with that. They've updated the firmware and whatnot to fix some issues with that. But I think it's a solid handheld. The quality is nice. I've really been enjoying this. And they've garnered like a big following of people in a com this Evercade fan community thing. A lot of people out there really enjoying this thing. And a lot of companies jumping on board you know, to license their games for the system. They have a lot of stuff coming up. We'll kind of look at some of those in a moment here. But they just put out this very cryptic message across, you know, all their social medias and on their website, the Evercade VS, coming soon. You could put in your email address and, and want to know more eventually to get notified. And I believe, what is it, April 21st, or April 23rd, my bad, I read that wrong. <laughs> April 23rd, they're going to be announcing what the VS is and, you know, more information, probably a trailer and whatnot. I had a conversation with the Evercade people uh, a couple days ago concerning this. They didn't really give me too much to go on. Just, hey, heads up, we got some stuff that we're going to be teasing today, which is when I'm recording this video. I kind of prodded them a little bit get a little bit more information but you know we got we got to keep it as it is for now cuz they they weren't really budging too much but I, I have a good idea i have a very good idea what this is because they've been kind of dropping hints you know a while ago i've talked about it a console an actual console like why would they continue the evercade name with another product and it be like an upgraded handheld maybe eventually they would but i just i don't think that's what this is going to be it's definitely not confirmed by anyone i'm just throwing it out there i'm like just pulling it out of my ass pulling it out of my brain this is definitely going to be a console there's there's no doubts about that i i mean versus vs what is that versus like two-player machine or does vs stand for video system when they first showed me this it just said, hey, we're going to be, you know, teasing it. Like like I said, they didn't give me no information to go off of. My first thought when I saw the VS logo is video system. It's going to be a console. It's going to be a console. It has to be a console. You could plug this into your TV and play it like a console. I don't like doing it. I don't want to be tethered and freaking cable plugged in and like this. I mean, using this as a controller. I, I, I feel like the buttons and D-pad are, are great on this thing. I have no issues with that, but I would much rather have a console to continue on being able to play these games, all these damn games, you know, on a TV. I think what these guys are doing is pretty awesome. The retro gaming market is over flooded. To just let's be honest, it is over flooded with merchandise, cheap ass shit from China, companies putting stuff out legitimately, not legitimately. It's overcrowded and I mean, I'm just being honest, the only company, not the only company, I can't say it that way, but as far as like stuff like this goes, there's nobody putting things out like this with new cartridges that, you know, are licensed. So I think that's cool. Not everybody's going to be interested in that. That's a given. But I think what they're doing is fantastic. It's, you know, reasonably priced as far as I keep hitting the buttons. It's like, boop, 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 boop. Like, reason, you know, reasonably priced for these cartridges with a bunch of games on them. For the most part, some of them don't have uh, that many. But, like, Zeno Crisis and Tanglewood, to be able to support those developers and get a cartridge with both games on it to play on a new system, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Not every cartridge is going to be a banger. In my opinion, they're not all bangers. But, you know, there's a good portion of them I love. But I think these guys are doing something unique and special. They, they kind of you know, hit it out the park with this thing. And with this VS, definitely going to be a console. I'm just saying it's definitely going to be a console. I've talked about that quite a bit in the past when I've talked about the Evercade. It's definitely going to be a console. I don't know what it looks like because, I mean, nobody does other than these guys. But April 20-whatever, what was it? 
<laughs> April 23rd, we'll find out more. Um, I think they're going to put up a trailer and stuff. We'll have to wait and see. But to be able to, yeah, continue with these cartridges and play them on your TV and have some hopefully decent controllers, you know, the, the, I, I'm not like, you know, all crazy, like, oh my God, I'm a huge fanboy. I love this thing. It's not without its flaws, not without its flaws. That is for sure. I think button mapping should be a thing across the board, across the board. It shouldn't be like firmware per game. It should be across the board. I can, that's, that's what I want. But, um. To be able to keep using these cartridges on a home console would be a pretty cool thing. But yeah, so far, these are all the cartridges they've announced and have released. You know, we got the Atari collection, the Lynx collections, going all the way down to here. So they only have 14 out right now. Um, and then these new ones that are going to be coming out, the Jalico Collection 1, Pico Interactive Collection 2, which honestly, I like a lot of Pico stuff, but this is one, I think it's mostly sports games, so it's going to be kind of, uh, um, you know, limited appeal maybe unless you're somebody who just got to have them all these are like pokemon you got to catch all these little bitches the indie heroes one that one looks that one looks cool 14 officially licensed games from independent developers you got like a bunch of stuff here this one could be pretty cool you know some of these games look really awesome some of them i, I don't know but they do look pretty neat so i'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out Deodus, 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 how do you say that? I don't know. Anguna, I'm pretty sure I got this at some point as like a download for the, was it the Game Boy Advance? I think, if I remember correctly, um, maybe I did get that as like a, a bonus or something, buying like a, a flash card. I don't remember. I, I'm pretty sure, but I never played it though. Flea, that one looks uh, interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff here though, a lot of cool stuff. Big collection for them to, you know, go go with the licensing of like big companies and then do these indie type things. I think it's pretty sweet. This one's gonna be dope. The Worms collection, Worms, Worms Blast, Worms Armageddon, sixteen and thirty two bits. What? What is what is this this handheld? Is it a thirty two bit system? I don't know. But all these cartridges coming up, I think it's pretty damn sweet. The uh, Codemasters collection. This one has a bunch of uh, uh, renowned games in British gaming history. I know Codemasters. A lot of us do. They have a lot of interesting things out there. But yeah, they got they got a lot of stuff coming up. Really interesting cannon fodder. That that's that's pretty cool. Big Nose freaks out. I've played that one. What else do we have here? Big Nose Caveman. Yes. Psycho Pinball. B fifty two. I don't know about that one, but it's still cool. I mean, people love this stuff. Being able to collect all these cartridges, and if this thing is a console, like I'd imagine it to be, like we're not going to be like, oh my god, it's like the Switch Pro, and they're coming out with the Evercade Pro. Nah, I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be a console. Hopefully, they implement button mapping for everything. Uh, just cross the board. Let me map the buttons how I want for the whole system. What? The controller's got to be quality. Hells yes. Wired wireless options, give us both. Make it some kind of universal connection or something where we could use our own controllers. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this real quick one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Big ass thumb button in your face. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.